Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another episode of seven days to die. We are on day nine aka I think this is episode 10 if I'm not if I'm not mistaken I believe this is episode 10 but welcome guys welcome back to another episode I'm really not sure where we left off the last time I played on the series was like a few days ago So it's been it's been a little while. It's been a little while. I believe the last thing that we were talking about Oh, yeah, the quest the quest This is our first night quest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is our first night quest I believe we got like a new level within the trader and he gave us a night quest to do so we're gonna be doing that we're gonna be it's a tier two so we're tier two in a trader now that's what i that's what i wanted to do we wanted to level up our trader quest and get all the way to tier five tier six however high the tiers go i just want to be at max tier because i know that's where you get the good loot you know what i mean so we want to be at max here we're just going to be farming the quest we're going to be doing a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of quests starting with these uh restore power quests what time is it 1600 um it gets dark at 2200 so we got a little bit of time we got like four hours of uh just just downtime to do so i think in, in between those hours we're gonna be uh, stocking up with some resources i really need to get this base rolling i'm probably gonna upgrade everything to wood because just having everything on frames like this is a little it's a little weird you know what i mean i don't i don't really like it all that much so i think we're gonna be uh getting a bunch of wood or at least farming a bunch of wood let me see oh we actually need a fire axe we don't have a fire axe at all okay so hopefully while we're out there questing we actually get ourselves a fire axe because we definitely need that i mean having a level five little miniature axe isn't all that bad you know what i mean but it's nothing it's nothing compared to like an actual fire axe so until then until 2200 i think we're just gonna be farming wood or at least upgrading this we might have enough wood to actually upgrade all of this uh, or i might be wrong let me see what where's our resources we have main resources yeah so all the woods on me so we got like 3k wood i'm not sure if that's gonna be enough but we'll see we'll see i'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade everything hopefully i can upgrade up here i'm gonna I'm, I'm upgrade as much as i can um and yeah all right so i've done a little bit of work i've done a little bit of housing work around uh the first thing that i did was i cleared out a little bit of this uh this trench that we had made it a little bit more even added a little pillar here for our turn we're eventually going to have to add another one over here because i do want to have another turn over here or at least some like machine guns you know what i mean like machine gun turn shotgun turn stuff like that i do plan on adding to this so um we're, we're definitely expanding upon this but this is just like the foundation just a little beginning of it i thought i could do i uh, cleared out making it all even and everything i added another second way of stairs here just so zombies have another area to get up uh which i think would be nice i'm not gonna upgrade it just yet just because we're close to 2200 so i gotta you know we got we got stuff to do you feel me but i did this um i added a little bit of a little bit of a railing not really a railing but like a, you know just like a little bit of a more of a formal ground it's, it really doesn't serve any purpose it just looks better in my opinion especially when we upgrade it to like cobblestone or whatnot i think it'll look way better um i did that and i also did a little bit of wood upgrading inside of the base if i could hop over here and uh show you so everything has been upgraded to wood and i added a little bit of the slopes here for the ceiling now i'm not sure how i want to do this yet uh because i know if i add it on here it'll look weird because of the boxes and everything so i'm not sure how i want to do that section of it yet so we're not going to finish the roof just yet I want to upgrade a little bit more stuff, get the crafting stations in here, get the uh, get the wheelbarrow in here, get, you know, everything that we need in here for crafting wise. I want to get in here and then start working on a roof. And I also have a plan because eventually we're going to have a helicopter, right? And uh, I want the helipad to be right on the top of us, but we're going to have to expand a little bit. So I don't want to work on that either. Not until we actually get to the steps of us actually having the helicopter itself. I don't want to work on it. Just not yet. Not yet. We eventually going to 100%, just not at this very moment. So let's go ahead and put our our stuff where's our um ammo here we go let's go ahead and put our stuff up we're gonna need the food for sure pretty much keep everything that we have on us on us definitely gonna keep the steroids i love some steroids i love it i love me some steroids at repair kits yeah so pretty much everything we already have is pretty much what we need to go what's our water and food looking like we're gonna drink this hopefully i have more water in here somewhere we got this which is better than nothing so we'll keep that on us um that'll be good we should probably fire up these murky waters um and get ourselves some boiled water just so when we come back we'll have like a good thing of boiled water i've been playing arc a lot so i all these keybinds are entirely different from uh, from arc i'm having a hard time like pressing everything and stuff um but yeah so we got our food on us we'll probably find some more food while we're out there inside of the loot base because we definitely don't have any more food in there which sucks we're gonna put this somewhere else actually this should uh this should go inside of main resources there we go all right, let's go ahead and get to the hibbity 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 hopping on over here. It's pretty fairly close, 1,500, more like 14, more like 13, now 12, 1,200 away. Pretty damn close. I wonder how it's going to be night. This is the first, first ever midnight nighttime, you know, fire up the, oh, and there's a zombie right there. There's a zombie right there waiting on us. I think we've been here already. Hello. 
Oh, wow. Okay. And I ran out of stamina. That did not go as planned. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Woo. Freaking feral, bro. Come out of nowhere. Oh, my God. How many bullets does it take to take you down? I shot you like five times in the chest. One time in the head and like two times in the chest again, bro. That was a lot of bullets. I was like, oh my God, bro. These things are scaring me, bro. Right behind me just screams. Okay, any more? I hear footsteps. All right, they're, they're still coming. Maybe I could take you out with just melee. I think it's the gunshots that's really like attracting more zombies, bro. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. This gun is actually weak, bro. I, I didn't think the gun was going to be that weak, but this gun is actually like fairly kind of weak. You know what I mean? Um, So we've been in here before, but j I'm just going to double check. If there's no zombies in here. Yeah, we've definitely been in here. Let me touch this shelf real quick. Take that out. But yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure. So this is a generator. We already know where the generator is going to be. Pretty, pretty easy. Pretty easy self-explanatory. We just go in, hit the generator, come out. Probably going to be hella zombies in here. We can deal with them. Am I hitting you? Wow. Was he just that strong that he took 10 bullets in the head for me to kill it? That's nuts. All right. We're going to activate this. I'm going to go ahead and activate this. We're going to use melee only for the most part. That's what I'm thinking. Come on. Come at me. Come at me. Come on. Nice. Let's go. I'd like to use melee only at least realistically just so I don't make that much noise with the gunshots. You know what I mean? You scared me, sir. Oh my god. Holy, 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 holy. Not the trash can. There we go. There we go. Assuming there's going to be more. Oh, you see him right there. So we got to activate this generator. We could just close this and just activate it. Because I know that I think this wakes up the zombies, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It wakes up the zombies. I don't think the zombies are going to be able to get in here within six seconds. So we can go ahead and complete this quest while the zombies are breaking down that door. And then we'll just kill all the zombies afterwards. Oh my god, they're actually mad strong. Alright, nice. In the head. Nice. Alright, you guys get up. You're dead. Double, double, double. Again. Nice. One hit. Nice, nice. See that? We're good. We're goaded, bro. That was easy. Now we just gotta clear out the rest of the area. There's probably gonna be some zombies upstairs, more than likely. Let me put my flashlight on. Because I have it. I might as well use it. You know what I mean? Definitely the rest of the zombies are upstairs. We're 30% infected, which sucks. So hopefully we can find some type of antibiotics or something. Like we're probably not going to, but I can hope. I actually remember this area now. On the rooftop, there's like a bunch of zombies. So we might actually be taking out the gack of the gack, gack, gack. Aiming it at somebody's back this time, bro. For real. Yes, sir. Hello. How are you doing? Take you out. You're dead. Those, those are the zombies up here, aren't they? More than likely, right? Yeah. All right, let's take out the gun because we're going to need it. Let me get... Can we get some sneak attacks here? Because there's like five zombies about to... Nope, no sneaks. I'm relying on the... Um, fuck. Oh, this is bad. Are we okay? Are we okay? Are we okay? Are we okay? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We gotta get a stronger gun. That gun was mad weak. I was expecting, you know, a bear. I, I was expecting like a nice level two pistol would do the job. We should have brung our double barrel. We should have brung our double barrel. We should have brung our double barrel. That would have helped us a little bit. You know what I mean? Especially with the AOE. The pistol didn't do its justice, man. We gotta get a better gun, especially for these nighttime raids, bro. We took a lot of damage right there. We're good. You know what I mean? We completed the quest. We're solid, but like, bro, that was a lot more than I uh, than I wanted it to be. You know what I mean? That was that took a lot more out of us than I than I expected it to. You know what I mean? And there's still a zombie down here. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, there it is. Wait till it comes up the ladder. Oh, you're feral. We can still take you out with just melee. Of course we can. Of course we can. All right, that should be all of them. Let's go ahead and open up the loot, see what we got here. Night Stalker. Oh, hello. Hello. How's it going? 
Close this door. Oh, we have this generator. So we had two generators. I didn't even know we had two generators. That's nice to know. Interesting. Well, we got the second one now. Or almost. About to get the second one. Any minute now. Hopefully, we get some good loot inside these chests, though. Because we definitely need it. Especially with the quest. Hopefully, we get some good loot in that quest as well. Because we... We definitely need it, bro. We definitely need it right now. Come on. Let me see. Let me see. Please. Something good. Uh, we got four motor parts. Okay. Popping pills. Can I get some antibiotics? Can I get some... some uh, Alloy cream. I think I actually need that. I have an abrasion, right? Yeah, that, I think that'll help with that. Unless it's the wrong thing. I, it didn't go away, so I'm guessing it's the wrong thing. Guessing it's the wrong thing. Man, I'm scared to go down there. Look at a bear beating up the zombie, bro. They got beef, bro. Let's see here. Maybe we should go back down because we didn't loot like at all, right? So we should go back down here. There might be some good stuff down here, you know what I mean? Never know. It's worth a shot since we already cleared out all the zombies and everything. Am I really not seeing anything here? There's really not nothing here. Okay. What about down here? Medical cabinet. All right. Workbench. All right. Some glue. Some metal. Not too bad, I guess. I don't know. I guess. What else? Got a book bag. Anything in here? Oh, my God. It's not looking so great, bro. It is not looking so great. Murky water. Something's beating on something. We're just going to ignore that, though. Unless they start coming for us. Then we, you know. At that point, we can't ignore it. Um, Is there anything in here worth? Probably not. I know I know one other location where there's a backpack. And I want to go to it. That's my that's my last hope right there. That's my last hope of actually good loot. Is going to be this backpack. It's right on the roof. I don't know if you guys know where this, is, uh, where this area is. But it's, you come this way, right? And it's right, right there. Big old backpack. You just got to watch out for fall damage because you might break your leg. Which I don't. Which is nice. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. And inside of the sports bag, we get water. Which I don't need right now. But you know what? I'm happy about the water. We're happy about the water. That's pretty much it, though. I mean, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Loot-wise, not the best. But I'm hoping we'll get the good loot from the quest itself. That's my hope. Let's go ahead and head back home because home is home. Hopefully, I mean, if the bear comes out there, we're on a bike, bro. Bear's not keeping up with the bike. And he's not coming out there, so we're good. We're good. Bear wasn't going to keep up with the bike either way. I don't think, at least. I mean, I never had a bear chase. But, well, stamina. Stamina-wise, I would have been fucked stamina-wise. He would have would have mauled me down by now. But we're good, though. We're about to go to our house. The house, you know, the house keeps us secure. The house is nice. The house is The house is happy. We like the house. That was a crazy quest, though. Look at our, bro. We have abrasion. I think we got a broken arm or a broken hand. Or I don't know what that means. We got a deep laceration. Critical hit resist against my, a bleeding minus 50. So how do I fix this? First aid or a sewing kit, huh? So we need a first aid. This'll work. This'll work. This'll work. How do I... I completely forgot how to use stuff in this game, bro. There we go. There we go. Let me, let me see my guy up. Let me get my guy right. All right, let's put our stuff away. You go in there. You go in there. Um, I'm going to keep you on me. Actually, I'm going to free fill. I definitely should probably do that, right? Let's put everything away. What's this Night Stalker stuff? No one will see it coming. Bows do 10% more damage at night. I really don't use that. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of kind of just don't use that. I don't know. I, I feel like it'll be better if I sell it. You know? I really feel like it'll be better if I sell it. Attachments. Where's Attachments right here so you go in there we got parts both of you guys go in there a little bit of ammo put that away let's eat a little bit because we definitely need to that goes in there the rest i think is just food and meds right that goes in there yeah so then just cocoa beans i gotta put that away but man we really didn't get much of anything out of that house at least um so it's all down to quest we're gonna turn this quest in Hopefully, 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 hopefully we actually get something good. And we need to make ourselves a crafting, a crafting bench, bro. We need to make, I think it's called a, a bench of some bench or table. Um, I, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's called a workbench, okay? We need advanced engineering or we need the workbench schematic. Probably just going to get, um, probably just going to get advanced engineering. How close are we to advanced engineering, actually? We leveled up two times. 
Um, how do I apply a level? Oh, yeah, yeah. We leveled up two times. It's an intellect, advanced engineering. Oh, yeah, this is for the cars and stuff, right? Or nail gun. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to level this up. So this is this is a this is a no-brainer type level up right here. Let's go ahead and get that. I think now we can craft. Yeah, we can craft workbenches and submit mixtures. That's nice. That's nice. So now to craft the workbench, we need forged iron, mechanical parts, wood, the claw hammer, and a wrench. I definitely need to double up on the. I do not want to use this wrench for this recipe because it's level six. That would not be. That would not be smart, especially not the claw hammer either. So we need to make ourselves another claw hammer, another wrench, mechanical parts. We need to make ourselves a lot of stuff. We need a bunch of forged iron. All that stuff calls a load of forged iron. Let's make like five hundred here. Okay, we can't afford five hundred. All right, <laughs> let's make a hundred. Let's make one zero zero. There we go. Let's make a hundred of this. Um, unless we already have some, which is actually very possible that we have. We have 25, which is probably not going to be enough to make these. Let's see here. How do you make the claw hammer? Four, 36. Yeah, see? We just need leather and duct tape after that. So let's put this in there. We're going to have to wait until the rest of the, um, the rest of the, uh, you know, forged iron gets done. We're going to need more duct tape. So let's get that out of our inventory, out of our chest. And it was leather. We're good on that. We're going to need that as well. Um... Now, to make the duct tape, here we go. Yeah, 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 let's get, I guess we could just get 17. Get as much as the, get as much as possible, as much as the glue allows us to. Um, we're going to have to go iron farming soon, bro. This is going to use up a lot of iron, but this should be enough. We should be able to make ourselves another claw hammer to use inside of that recipe, right? No? What are we missing? I want to totally, eat okay. So we just need four more and we're good. All right, guys. So we're back. We went ahead and crafted the... Uh, we got like 30 seconds left on this rent, but we went ahead and crafted a uh, level five, actually. I didn't know I was able to craft this, but we crafted a level five claw hammer, which is nice. Um, we're going to have that level five wrench as well, I'm assuming. Hopefully, it's going to be level five, but we pretty much got all of the resources that we need to make the workbench. We got ourselves the forged iron, mechanic parts, you know, the wood and everything. Only thing we're missing now is just, just 15 seconds on this, but I want to figure out where I actually want to put it. Um, I think I want to put all the forges in this area. Storage is going to be over there. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like here, maybe. I don't think I want to put anything on this back wall yet. I'm still a little bit iffy on it. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think that I want to put it right here, maybe. And then we'll have the submit mixes over here or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, not very sure. And I'm not sure how many I actually need. Actually, I think right here would be fine because I want to have storages next to it. I know it takes up two spots, so we could just have the crafter here, right? And then we could have storages here for resources that are being used on the actual crafter itself. I think that is smart. I think it takes a while to make this too. Yeah, it takes 30 minutes. So I think we're going to use that. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some of the, uh, the, 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 the chest that we need, which we have one. So we need, I believe, how do you make this with the, um, I believe you make it with the, the nails, correct? Let me see. Let's go to storage, rideable storage box. Yep, and we just need two more of those. Go ahead and craft those, which is gonna be yeah, three minutes after, but um, at least we have one for now that we could just place down. I'm not sure what to name it. I really don't even know what you make inside of the workbench, but everything seems to be coming to plan, and it's four o'clock in the morning. We're gonna be visiting the trader fairly quickly, fairly soon. Um, I don't think we need the rest of this stuff on us, I don't think. I really don't know. I, I'm assuming not. If we do, we could just get it back out. How do you make this smeltery again? I want three of those. Smelt or is called a forge, right? Forge, we need so a small stone clay leather duct tape and short iron pipe, which honestly, bro, we could really just go ahead and make that. Uh we got the short pipes, right? We got the duct tape. We need clay, and then we also need the small rocks, which we also have. We have everything, right? Yeah, so let's make two more of those as well. Um, we're gonna be crafting up a lot of stuff. We're getting attacked. Where are they? Interesting. Interesting. So they could just attack that if they stand right there. Okay. Maybe we should expand that some more uh, and make it where they can't actually attack it. Because I believe, th yeah, this is the only support for this. So if that goes, I believe everything else falls, which would be bad doing Horror Night, right? So maybe we should just go ahead and extend that a little bit more. Um, and that way they won't be able to like really attack it from up there. I mean, they could always just fall down and then attack it, right? So maybe that's not the best game plan. Well, we're really going to have to rely on uh, on the on the shotgun turn and the um, the machine gun turn to really take those guys out and stop them from attacking that. Um, I don't really know any other fix for it, really. He's not even trying to come up here to me, right? Yeah, he's not even trying. Let's give him a little bit of time. Maybe he'll like change his mind. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Did he change his mind? Okay, so he changed his mind. But when we're standing here... 
yeah he's still going i'm trying to figure out when he actually like prefers to attack this versus coming up here and getting me because i want him to come up here and get me that's the whole point of the base is for them to come this way i'm not sure at where where i stand in the base they'll be like hey yeah we're not going to we're not going to attack this guy we're going to go straight for the main head you know what i mean not sure when that is but either way we should be good with some deterrence and everything that should probably fix that uh fix that problem we need food like crazy i'm hearing bad music but i only see one zombie i'm assuming there's more zombies gonna be coming for me in a, in a minute here fault of bad music or maybe not i'm not sure i'm not sure it looks like our tree farm is steadily growing we're gonna have to be mining that soon but once everything is done i'll catch you guys back later um, i'm gonna wait for all of this to craft and everything so we went ahead and placed it down. We also placed down our store boxes. And I looked in here and I was like, oh, there's actually some things that we can actually make inside this guy. So the main thing that I looked at was this chemistry station. I believe the chemistry station allows for the creation of gunpowder to be a lot easier. At least that's what I think from my, you know, passive playing, which might be completely wrong. But that's what I think. And the resources to make this isn't all too horrible. I mean, it costs 100 forged iron, three cooking pots, 30 of the short iron pipes. Like all of this is pretty easy. The rarest item would be the beaker, but you guys remember in earlier episodes we have this beaker right here and we also have this beaker right here which i could just take this out and then use that inside of the recipe you know what i mean um i don't think beakers are actually craftable it doesn't pop up you know in there at least maybe if i type it in here yeah i don't think beakers or is it be yeah i don't think beakers are actually craftable which you know what i mean the fact that we got two of them is actually pretty nice so we're definitely going to be using at least one of those to actually make our chemistry station, which will help a lot with bullets, I think. And then the submit mixer is pretty easy. We actually have everything for that. So we're definitely gonna be creating that in the next episode for sure. So I believe Trader Joe's is open now. There's a lot of zombies in my in my front yard, but that shouldn't be a problem. We can just zoom by him real quick. Hopefully he gives us at least something good. We need something good here out of this quest of ours, okay? Okay, Mr. Trader Joe's. I need, I need something yummy. I need something scrumptious in this quest, bro. Please. Well, Trader Bob. Ah, uh, so we got a level three double bear shotgun. Or we can get level three leather gloves. I'm thinking we get the double bear shotgun. That's what I'm thinking. It's a it's a it's an upgrade. Our double bear shotgun is like what level one? So we're getting an upgrade from level one to level three. I think we take this and call it a day. That's what I'm thinking. Do you have any more jobs for us? So we have two fetches. Or sorry, we have one fetch, one clear, and the rest are nighttime. So I'm thinking we'll do we're gonna we're gonna accept this one we're gonna do clear zombies we're gonna do nighttime and we're gonna do the other clear as well um just to get the maximum amount of resources possible within our full day excuse me i need to get through thank you thank you thank you thank you all right just making sure you're dead just making sure gotta make sure you're dead all right let's go ahead and go back home and let's get ready to do this quest all right, guys, that's all for today. I do appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys tune into next episode. We're going to be doing a bunch of quests. Hopefully, we get the uh, chemistry station down and all that jazz. Um, and start working a little bit on this roof, I think. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.